Welcome to session three of the Introduction to Computing program. This session discusses the different types of networks and their identification of various networks. And also, we'll give you a little more introductory to the types of networks. Networking allows for sharing information, communication, organization, and help any organization to save money and to share resources. Computer network can be conveniently grouped based on their geographical span. A network can both cover a small geographic area, such as between your mobile phone and its Bluetooth headphone, and as large as the internet, which we call, we term as one. This part of the session aims to help students appreciate the various types of networks, where and when they are deployable, and highlights on their characteristics. So in this session, we will discuss introduction to computer networks, types of networks, the personal area network, local area network, metropolitan area network, wide area network, and the internet. The reading list will be found on your, we can find this course material in computer networks by Tannerbaum especially the fourth edition, chapters 1 to 14, and then 26. Introduction to computer networks. Computer networks, a system consisting of connected nodes made to share data, hardware, and software. That is, data and hardware, software are interconnected and produces uh, activity on sharing of resources and data. Network, two or more computers connected together in such a way that they can share resources. Major purpose of a network is sharing resources, especially files. Resources may include files, folder, printer, or anything that exists on a computer. As we can see, this is a typical network. The computers can be geographically located anywhere, within a building, within a campus, within a city, and within a country. This is what we term as a network. Benefits of networking, sharing of resources, communication, sharing of information, reduction in operational cost, effective handling of personal communications, allow users to access important programs and data simultaneously, save data storage. These are the benefits we can derive when we deploy networks. Disadvantages or cost of networking. Network hardware, software, and setup can be costly. Hardware and software management administration cost, especially we need a management board like uh, network administrator, and so on. Undesirable sharing. Sometimes it's, you don't want to share, but you have to share and in a network environment. Illegal or undesirable behavior. Data security concerns. These are all issues affecting networking. There are categories of networks. They can be classified based on geographical span, interconnectivity, administration, and architecture. A network may span across different environments. As when you have Bluetooth-enabled devices, a whole building, we call it land. A whole city, we call it man. Multiple cities covering the whole world, we will use the internet. Interconnectivity. Interconnectivity refers to the physical and logical arrangement of the network. Existing arrangements include a mesh, a star, a bus, 
a ring and a hard bread. These are approaches and ways we put this network physical structures together. Administration. From an administrative point of view, private network. We have private networks and we have public networks. Private network belongs to a single autonomous system. Cannot be assessed outside its physical or logical do domain. Example, the network on University of Ghana campus is private to University of Ghana. Public network can be assessed by all. Architecture. The architecture can be categorized also into three. We have crime server setup. We have point-to-point -point setup, and we have hybrid, which contain both client server and point-to-point -point setups. Types of network. Personal area network. The smallest network that is personal to a user. It may include Bluetooth-enabled devices or infrared-enabled devices. PAN has connectivity range up to 10 meters. Personal area network can be wired or wireless, depending on how you set it up. Personal area network has wired PAN. So we have wired PAN and wireless PAN. In the wired PAN, can be wired with a computer bus, such as universal serial bus. Examples include using a pen drive or modem to share information. Then in the wireless pan, through the use of Bluetooth or infrared data and its association technologies, which you will be studying along line your studies. Then we have in the personal area network, Bluetooth wired pans are formed on an ad hoc basis. Whenever two Bluetooth devices get close enough to each other, they can communicate directly with each other. So this is a typical wireless pan. This type of dynamically formed network is called a PicoNet. A Bluetooth enabled device can communicate with up to seven other devices in one PicoNet. Then another example is scatternet. Two or more piconets may serve as a bridge between the piconets and is termed as scatternet. Then wireless PAN implementation include wireless computer, keyboard, and mouse. Bluetooth enable headphones, wireless printers, TV remotes, smart watches. This is a typical office pan, as you, you see, and the Bluetooth enable pan on the right side. Local area network, LAN. LAN is a data communication system that allows a number of independent devices to communicate directly with each other in a limited geographical area. A typical example is, is in a single building or a campus. It operates under a single administrative system. Connection can be either wired or wireless. Resources that can be shared include printers, file service, scanners, and others. Local area network. LAN characteristics are based on size, transmission technology, and its topology. LAN size. Size is restricted. Transmission time is bounded and known in advance. Land transmission technology consists of a cable to which all machines are attached. Runs at a speed of 10 megabytes per second to 10 gigabytes per second. It's low delay, very few errors. Land topologies, examples include bus, ring, and so on. So the typical picture here composed of an inexpensive networking and routing equipment. So we have a workstation here, and then we have a hub here, and then we have a printer here, and so on. Land can be wireless or wired. Wireless land connections may use infrared or radio waves. Most useful when computers are portable. 
slow compared to wired network. A typical example is displayed here. Now, local area network has different topologies. Wired LAN can be in a bus setup or in a, a ring setup or in a star setup and so on. Wired connection may use twisted pairs, coaxial cables or fiber optics cables. So we have a typical LAN here which has shared transmission medium. Advantages of wireless LAN over wired LAN is mobility. You can use it anywhere you sit. Ease of physical setup, lower cost. Metropolitan area network, MAN, occupies middle ground between lands and ones. It spans a geographical area covering mostly a metropolitan city. It also refers to the interconnection of several lands by bridging them together. So you can have two or three lands, put them together to form a MAN. This type of network is also referred to as a campus network. A typical example is what we have on University of Ghana campus. Metropolitan area network, MAN, can be in form of Ethernet, token ring, etc. It provides uplink for LANs to ONES or Internet. MAN's backbone is high capacity and high speed fiber optics. Example, cable television. Wide area network. One, it spans a large geographical area. It consists of two or more lands connected across a wide geographical area. It provides connectivity to lands, mans, and other types of networks. Equipped with very high speed backbone, uses expensive network equipment, and a typical example is the internet we have. Once contains a collection of machines, which we term as hosts, intended for running user programs. The hosts are connected by communication subnet, or subnet, simply subnet. The hosts are owned by the customers. Example, people's personal computers. The subnets are owned and operated by telephone companies or internet service provided, the ISPs. Subnets carry messages from host to host. So we show you a wide area network. Subnet consists of two distinct components, the transmission lines and the switching elements. So the transmission lines are responsible for moving bits between machines. Then they're made of copper wire, optical fiber, or radio links. Then the switching elements, specialized computers that connect three or more transmission lines together. So switching element determines outgoing lines that must forward data that arrive on an incoming line. So these switching computers are called routers, packet switching. Routers that do not share common transmission line yet, wish to communicate, must do so indirectly via other writers. Sending packets from one router to another via intermediate routers requires that, one, the packet is received at each intermediate router in its entirety. The packet is stored there until the required output line is free and then forwarded. A subnet based on such a principle is called store and forward or packet switch subnet. With packet switching, if a process on host A wants to send a message to another process on host B, one, host A partitions the message into packets. Then each message has a sequence number. Then the packets are then transported over the network and deposited at host B, as we see here. When packets arrive at host B, 
they are reassembled into the original message and delivered to the receiving process. So this is what takes place, sending and receiving as well as through the subnet A. So we can see router C makes a choice to forward packets to Y and not to D, as demonstrated. When a packet arrives at router A, router A decides which line it should be forwarded through. How A makes the decision is called routing algorithm. Satellite system. Each router will have an antenna through which it can send and receive data. Internet. A network of networks. The largest network. It connects all ones. Also have connections to LANs and home networks. It allows users to share and access information worldwide. Uses very high speed of fiber optics as backbone. Examples of internet applications include websites, email, instant messaging, blogging, social media, marketing, networking, resource sharing, audio and video, streaming. So in the reference, we have data communication and computer network tutorial, simply easy learning by tutorialpoints.com. This is where most of this lecture notes come from. Tanabom A in 2003, Computer Networks 4th Edition, which was published by Prentice Hall.